Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Good to see you all here for more Forever Skies. Welcome back, everybody. We uh, enjoyed this game when it first dropped, uh, I think in maybe it was June of last year. In the summer of 2023, Forever Skies dropped, and it now has dropped its first major update, which also has a, a new chapter, I believe. We're going to go through some of the things that are new for today's sponsored stream. So thanks to Forever Skies for sponsoring today's stream. This is an open world survival crafting game where you're building an airship and uh, plays a little bit like um, Subnautica if you think of it that way, except instead of being below the ocean, you're you know up in the sky. And the danger is below, kind of just like it is in that game. But this one is really fun, a lot of great positive reviews, and uh, it's got a very interesting story that the devs have added some more to. Uh, chapter 2, I believe, called The Cure. Um, I think is part of this update, but we're going to take a look at uh, the Steam store page for a little bit and then jump right into the game and start building our ship. Uh, your saves, if you have this game, should carry over for this update. So if you played a little bit or recently uh, or re right at the beginning you did a ton of stuff and haven't played in a bit, all your stuff should be saved and you should be able to just like continue where you left off. So if you want the update, all you got to do is download it or update it on Steam and then the gardening uh, update is locked in and ready to go for you. So... Uh, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. Good morning, chat. Hello. Yes, I see I see so many good mornings and so ha many hellos. It's good to see. Well, uh, let's go ahead and take a look then at the uh, notes for this one. Uh, again, it's still an early access game and is 25% off too, uh, which is ending on April 11th. So you got to act uh, kind of quickly if you want to get this one for $22.49. And I've enjoyed um, all the exploration of like the chapter one stuff was pretty good. We were able to do quite a few streams out of it before we kind of hit the, um, there was like a hard wall where the game basically, I think it stops the game and it's like, hey, this is kind of all we got for, you know, chapter one content, so you're free to explore and continue to build your ship and stuff, so, um, but now we have chapter two, and chapter one was fairly long because, of course, we were finding materials to build our ship and then expand our ship, and then we put a lot of cool weapons and stuff on our ship too to, like, zap other things out of the sky that you can gather for materials. So, anyway, let's take a look. All right, so the um, airship gardening uh, is now live for everybody. Uh, so we have ourselves uh, new gardening mechanics, a new underdust map known as the suburbs. That's the the underdust is like this layer of toxicity and danger that when you go down into it, uh, there's like um, you have to bring oxygen. Like you don't have to worry about oxygen up in the sky. It's all down below, uh, as if you were like underwater. Chapter two: The Hunt for the Cure. We also have uh, improved world and progression, and new modules known as Bloom Range. So, that's interesting. Um, the developers said that there's a, a difference to the intro of the game now. There's a, a little difference in the beginning. So, if you start a new game, it might be somewhat different, but it all kind of leads to the same stuff towards the end, so that's good. Uh, this is by far the largest update we've released since the start of Early Access. Beautiful. Oh, there's some of the gardening stuff. Nice. So you won't have to worry about food as much anymore either. That means we're probably going to need a bigger ship. Our ship right now is kind of like a like a, a narrow arrow. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not too um, too wide, but I guess we're gonna have to change that now. Well, this looks cool. Ooh, spoilers ahead on chapter one. Well, that's okay. We'll be playing everything from chapter two, so I guess there are spoilers here because we'll be talking about chapter one and seeing chapter two. Although I don't think it'll be anything immediate for Chapter 2. It'll take a while. Oh, whoa, is that a weapon? Anyway, I've um, I've kind of um, forgotten a lot of things about this game, too. So we'll have to kind of relearn. Looks like there might be combat. Uh, many players are hoping to exchange blows with Mantis enemies and more in this update. However, we made the difficult decision to temporarily hold off on the decision. But only for now. Ah, so it looks like combat will be coming to the game. But just not yet. They'll probably be adding enemies and other things to attack in the future. That's cool. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's your uh, module design for Bloom Range. More things to do with health. Oh, lots of patch notes here. Look at that. And a full change log, too. Oh, there's new devices. Okay. So here's what we got to worry about, then. We've got small gardening plots, water tanks, sprinklers, large gardening plots, large sprinklers. So we will have to water our crops. Pipes, distiller... Uh, pipe, water, generator, tools. The air cutter. Big oxygen tank. Uh, magnetic lures. We had that from before, I think. 
Underdust access module item. Hmm. Oh, and new seeds. Oh, look at all the plants. Uh, sl <clears throat> Sleeping Lily. Leaf Fire Plant. North Star Plant. Pig Smile Plant. Sleeping Lily. Leaf Fire North Star. Oh, these are seeds, too, for those. Canola. Bruise Flower. Okay, they put, it, they put in quite a few uh, plants here and seeds for those. And then there's new stuff. Boiled Leaf Fire. Boiled Pig Smile. That's food. We got dust fertilizer, bloom theme plants. Man, they added a ton of stuff. And then more changes too. So tweaking things for balance and or player convenience and fixing bugs. Of course, you've always got to do that. Hey, there's a bundle for the, this one too. Oh, you can play Green Hell and Forever Skies. Both great game. Earth and Air Survival Bundle. Would definitely recommend both games if you don't have that. And Rift Breaker. Wow. I love Rift Breaker too. So these both, one of these bundles would be great. I, I have all these in my library. Green Hell and Rift Breaker are great. And um, so is Forever Skies. All right, let's jump back into our previous save from the end of Chapter 1. And we'll go explore a little bit. I got to kind of remember how to play. So, you know, we'll do that. And then we'll go see what we can find in terms of seeds and uh, new items. And we'll go see if we can go to the greenhouse and stuff that I think they want us to go to for the start of Chapter 2. Let's go. Yeah, Pig Smile. What a, what, what a weird name, huh? What a weird name. All right. Good morning, James. Good morning, everybody. Okay, let's get locked in. All right. Now loading. Uh, yeah, that's... Yep, we're good. Yep, everything's good. Double stream? Yeah, we're streaming on both YouTube and on Twitch. So, so welcome, everybody. Ooh, banger music. Someone could definitely rap to this. Uh, our next stream should be scheduled for um, the correct time. Just make sure you refresh on those streams. Sometimes YouTube doesn't update things. You know how it is. Alright, so I just tested this one this morning to make sure it worked. Um, but we haven't played this one since June. So it's been a couple couple months, couple days since we played. And uh, we were playing on normal. I think maybe we'll start a new game, maybe towards the end, to see if the... Or what's different in, like, the beginning of the game. But... We'll just jump back into our old ship and kind of get our bearings, bear rings chat. Mm -hmm. Is that a is that a bear that's getting married? Boom, 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 boom. Now loading. Oh, here we go. So I think we're at the uh, area where we go down into the Underdust from the end of Chapter 1. Uh, satisfy Hunger. Get an insect lure. Re uh, find research reports on the laboratory of infected greenhouse. Research immunity booster. Okay. So I remember there was a machine around here that gave us, like, uh, medicines and stuff. By the way, my ship's very crowded, but I kind of like it because I don't have to, you know, stuff's, like, within reach. I don't even remember what half this stuff is. Uh, this is a virus sample thingy, okay. Got lots of stuff up here. Extractors, transformers. Got a lot of synthetics on us, okay. This, I think, is a battery charger. Upgraded tool charger, okay. Oh, cool, our thing's uh, auto-lasering. Nice. So this will automatically gather metal and synthetics for us. Oh, and there's our big old rocket boosters. Energy crystal fuel, okay. Alright. Well, we're clearly going to have to expand the airship if we're going to build a greenhouse, so we'll probably, probably expand this area on the sides. Which right now I'm just using for water collection. 
need a water bottle, I think. I've forgotten everything. All right, let's go drive around, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens when we get tired and hungry. Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Thank you, ma'am. Immunity decrease alert. The virus has brought health to a critical state, a high-risk condition for life. Untreated diseases turn chronic. Symptoms become more severe. There'll be no way to wait out the disease. Immunity permanently reduced to 50%. Whoa. Well, that's uh, part of the story, I guess. All right, we need to go to wherever they want us to go for the story. Updated. Enter the labs in infected gardens. Acquire a search to deal mistakes of your kind. But protect yourself first. Uh, what, ma'am? That didn't seem right. I have no idea where we should go. Well, this is marked as an exclamation point, so maybe it's here? Hmm. Yeah, we'll be playing a little bit more of that later today, Dingus. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. Tab to see more. Immunity low. Well, that must that must be a new thing. Okay, I'm tracking this one now. Okay, maybe now that I'm tracking it, it'll show. It still seems to be here. Okay. And satisfy hunger. I guess I'll grab some. Well, we're not even hungry, really. We're a little more tired than it. Oh my God! Look at the footballs. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's napping. All right, let's go explore a little bit. I don't think we're supposed to be here, but there is a large exclamation point here, so... Find research reports in the laboratory on infected greenhouse. Hmm. Do I have a flashlight? No. Clean water, plant oil. Maybe I better drop some stuff off if we find things. No power. Um, I think I need to bring a gun to get up there. Paint tool. All right, let's go drop off stuff in our inventory. I think we're going to need something to remove that wall. And maybe we'll take a little nap. But if we take a nap, then of course we'll be hungry. Ooh, that's a little damage. That'll buff out. It's fine. It's supposed to be that way. Oh, we got a refrigerator. Boiled glowing dust moth. Right, that'll be fine for food. Got a freezer. Bunch of metal. More metal. Is there more storage? I must have taken everything out of storage to build the ship larger. Different types of lures. Hit insect lure. Well, that didn't work. I guess I'll have to craft one. Oh, yeah, there's different uh, virus protections. Okay. Probably bring a scanner. I'm going to just dump stuff off because I really don't know what I was up to. Polymer, epoxy, helium, that can go in there. Where was that? Helium there. Like those stacked to ten now. Oh, they may have. Ch oh, they must have changed stack sizes. These are all five out of ten. That must have been part of an update. Yep. Okay, so things stack better now. That's cool. And that's plant oil. Okay. Uh, repair patch. That'll be good for the outside of the ship. We'll do that later. First aid, I need that for me. Water, I think we'll just bring two. I'm just going to use this as a dump box. We've got a knife. We got a knife. Got some more fuel, too, for the ship. I think we just find that stuff. More metal. Electric components. Got an oxygen tank here, medium size. I don't think we need the paint tool. 
And the scanner seems useful. Airship builder. Don't need that then. So scanner and that's a crossbow. Okay. So I got a weapon with me. And then... Oh, that's what we want. The extractor. And we'll put that in the old hot bar. Cool. Yeah, there's sword buttons too now. Or there were before. Mm, I don't know if I like how they sort things. Yeah, it's fine. As long as they're stacked nicely. Did we have any other boxes? This one? Empty bottle. I think some of these bottles actually purify water. Like you could put dirty water in them and then they'll clean it up. Alright, I guess we're supposed to take a nap because otherwise we won't be able to sprint too much. So where's a bed? That looks like one. Level is decreasing. Doing a little napping. Good to full eight hours, I think. Alright, let's have some water. And then... So this is a filter one, right? Filtering bottle, okay. So then I could take this. To here. So we can bottle the dirty water. And then that'll just take some time to... Yeah, it takes like a minute to filter. Okay. And I brought some food with me. Oh, it looks like we got two days and 13 hours before it goes bad. Oh, also, uh, we should make a flashlight. Maybe that would be useful. Crossbow. Unless we don't have a recipe for it. Water, food, interior, flight, components, science, and boosters. I don't see a flashlight. There's a flashlight tab, but... I guess we don't have one at the moment. We might be in the right place, we might not, but that's our main goal is to go... It, it looks like it's part of the main story to do all the farming. So I think we got to get up there to that thing. Probably go, got to go outside. Like here. Nope. Maybe not. Oh, here's a ladder. Pretty. The colors are pretty. Pretty colors. Oh, there's a power box. We got a solid state battery from that, okay. Gotta follow this blue cord, I think. Oh, never mind, it comes to an end. Hmm. That looks promising. No! <laughs> Damn it. I bounced off the edge. Anything in the containers? No. Uh, where's that ladder? <laughs> See a ladder there. Oh, the ladder was over here. My knees, I know.
There's like sticks blowing around. Okay, that's better. I think that's the only way over there, yeah. Okay, don't get too close to the edge this time. First try! Alright, cool. Calories level is decreasing. What is this? Remember, plastic is important. The, uh, because this game is updated, things might, you know, things that used to be super mega critical, like plastic, might not be as important anymore. Or are more plentiful, so they're not as, like, it's not as rare. A storm is coming. Oh, great, a storm. Yeah, let's go outside in that. That'll be fine. Oh, wait, there's a cable. Okay, so that leads to the elevator. Okay, so we gotta follow the blue cord around. We're going in reverse. Wow. Oh, there we go. Use access module. Oh, that was close. Um, no power. So I must have to plug that solid state battery into something and then... Maybe it activates the module, then I can activate the computer? Let's try going up here. We're looking for something. And I don't know what. Hope the ship's okay. So there's a light shining on this. We must have already discovered that or something. Okay, the storm. The storm's moving away. Maybe we should scan this. Let's try using our scanner. We've already scanned it. Hmm. Is the elevator just already working and just the computer's offline? Locked. No, okay. What's interesting is we've come here before and we've activated this section before, so... From what I recall, we just have to find that solid state battery and plug it in somewhere. And the somewhere usually requires you to just follow the blue cable. So if we go up, that leads to the roof. Oh, it's a sunny day again. How pretty. Okay, this is the collapse section above the computer. But I don't know what use access module means. I can't hit E or anything? Ah, there we go. This must be new. We have to scan it. Terminal that unlocks power and access to the elevator leading to the underdust location requires an access module. So that means like a key. So that may have changed since last time. Is this the access module? Or somewhere where we can print it? 
Okay, we might have to come back after we find an access module. Maybe we can print one? That's different. And I think what we did is we went to the underdust, and then when we were done, I parked here, because this is like a big open space to where we could do construction. And we wanted to upgrade the ship, so that's kind of what we did as our last thing. So now we're kind of discovering everything all over again, which is kind of cool. I like that when you don't play a game for a while, and then you gotta remember what was up. Alright, satisfy hunger. Let's get that objective complete. How do we craft one of those? Insect lure. We need metals and synthetics. And they have to be on us. Metals and synthetics. Printing completed. Simple insect lure one. Hmm. That objective's still there. Use the airship's device insect catcher to get food. Oh! So it's not to get an insect lure, it's more to catch fish or whatever. Alright, let's go do that. We'll go down a little bit. Here's probably good. Alright, let's do some fishing. While we wait, let's do some repairs on the ship. Have to remember where we put our patch. There it is. Oh. Got one. It's a big one, boys! Woo! It's a fat dust moth. And a glowing one, cool. We should have like a boiler around here somewhere. There it is. Use cooking station. And then we can freeze that afterwards. Doing a little meal prep. Eh, I think anything above 80 is probably fine. You got a flounder. Send it to Willie. Looks like our ship didn't take any damage from that storm. Which is nice. Okay, so... Get insect lure, use the airship's device to get food. Well, we kind of just did that. We lowered the... We lowered both of those, caught two things, and cooked one of them. So that might be something that... Eh, day one patch. There we go. See, that's how easy it is to repair. <laughs> that's all the devs have to do is just boop. Just do, do a little boop. It, I think it's the first objective that you have to do in the game. Is like, get food or something. Or one of the first things. So it's probably just... Just stuck there. So we'll ignore that one. Since we can't really complete it. Well, let's track this one. Is there a way to on track? I don't think there is. Yeah. Research an immunity booster. Get data from the laboratory. I think we do have an immunity booster here. And I think we've already done that at the end of the last um, streams, too. I think we have a sample around here somewhere. There it is. I, is that an immun immunity booster? Oh, 
rotten food. That'll be good for farming. Mantis gland. Hmm. People want to do uh, combat with that mantis. What's up, blue car snipes? Hydration level is decreasing. Mm-hmm. Same with food. Let's have a little snack. There we go. Maxed out. Maxed out. Okay, um, yeah, so I see only that exclamation point there. And it shows down, so it definitely wants us to go into that thing. Into that tower. So I'm not sure how to get this key then. That must be something they may have added. So we need, um, where's that crafting thing? Oh, there's a water filter here. We can take dirty water and put it in one side, and then clean water comes out. But with our automatic water bottle, we don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, so we got a scanner, builder, tool charger, ship workstation. Creates new airship equipment and allows customization. Maybe we had other stations that I deleted because they were no longer needed. We have that automatic uh, deck extractor. Upgrade station we don't have, but I think that's for tools. Used to create dev device upgrades, improves functionality and efficiency. Okay. Airship workstation. We might, we might need some of these to try and see if we can make that new thing, the component. First aid kit, beds, st <laughs> sticky note. Pass component, ah, there it is. Component for the access module, that's, okay, that's new. So we need electric element one. Machine part, electric element. Okay. So we need to make keys now, I guess. That's new. Satisfy hunger, construct a Snickers bar. Yeah. I'm usually not myself when I'm hungry. Printing completed. Let me grab some more water. Inventory full. There. All right, now uh, let's grab that module. We have one pass component. Hopefully, we only need one. Also, I don't think we need this crossbow yet. Apparently, combat is coming and they give you a crossbow, but it's not necessary yet. But the knife might be to. Actually, maybe the crossbow will be useful to shoot plants and stuff, or something. Okay, let's go up there. Yeah, we're a little, little sleepy. We're okay, though. How do we go up? Oh, shift. Okay, so that's different than before. They've added a new access module computer. Before, I think you used to just, like, flip on the power, and then go to that computer and it would work, or something like that. So already noticing some changes, which may have been from before. Landed it. Okay, let's do... Electric components, drop that off. We want all this space for new stuff we might find. I'll keep that solid state battery just in case. Now, we've already been to this area, but I don't know if the game has like refreshed that somehow. With updates, it could have, and with this being kind of reset, the, the way to get in here, it, it could have changed things, so we'll see. So I probably didn't need the patch stuff, but that's okay. Okay. 
space survivor. Yeah, the story goes we're like, I think we were on a space station after Earth. There was like this giant virus, and uh, now we're like the the last survivor. Use access module. Component for the access module. And what is this thing? This is the access terminal. Terminal that unlocks power and access to the elevator leading to the underdust location requires an access module. Component for access module. Okay, so the access terminal is different than the access module. Is that this computer? No. This cable seems to go through the wall into this box. No? Alright, let's follow the cable. Yeah. There could be air bears out here. So the cable goes this way to this access terminal. And then... where? The cable kind of ends there. So I guess the cable goes up through the roof, down the ladder, and to the door. Hmm. This is just a component for the access module. So, like, what does it need to repair? Oh, there's stuff next to it. Oh, the sky is so pretty, dude. The, the day-night cycle is gorgeous. And also there's like, you know, random weather events and effects and things like that. That's really nice, too. Okay, so I can't equip this. I can't hold this in my hand, can I? No. Use access module. I feel like, okay, is this, perhaps, is this, um, not right? Go to the research station to learn modules, maybe. Is that a thing? Okay. I feel like something's not, not right here. I, yeah, I'm, I'm missing something. I forget also how kind of research works in this game. I don't remember if you like you make something yourself and then have to research it to see what it does. All right, chance right. Let's look around a little bit more. I mean, to be fair, we're like kind of deep into the game. You're right, chat. Research station. You make stuff and then research it. We need plastic scrap too. We're like at the end of chapter one, so I've forgotten all the stuff we've learned up until then. Oh my god, chat's right. There's there's something to do with it. <laughs> this game, uh, things work a little different here, which is cool. Like you gotta like make stuff and then find out what to do with it. What do we make now? What, oh, what is this stuff? Oh, uh, paint cartridges. Organic fertilizer, plant oil, plant resin, helium fuel, oxygen booster, fabricator, immunity booster. They told me to make one of those too. Oh, we need to research that. So we need uh, gastroenterit and then hemorrhagic fever. So we got to figure out where to find those. Okay. Anyway, we researched it, but what does it do now? So now do I have to make another one? Ah. Oh, my God. Okay, that's what it all is. Okay. <laughs> so now we need to make another pass component, and then we need to make an access module, which is why they gave us a solid-state a solid battery. Before, you would just need, like, I think things were just, like, offline. 
Oh, it looks like sword doesn't stack. Or does it? Anyway, uh, yeah, things would be offline and you just have to get them activated again. Oh, this is cool as hell. I love rediscovering this stuff and be like, oh yeah, that's how that works. Okay, so we want, uh, it was electronic components. Electronic components. There we go. So we need to make that. Wow. Rediscovering all that is so cool. There, th This is, um, what we're going through right now is like a common thing of the time. Where, like, many games that go into early access will have months between their, um... You know their initial early access phase, and then each Ready update. And sometimes, you know, when you when you do everything you wanted to do in an update, and then you leave and come back, sometimes you can completely forget how things work. And so, yeah, that whole research thing, completely forgot about that thing. It's like you only use that a few times in the game, and when you do, it's because something big kind of unlocks. Like there's not too many things listed in there, but the things that are like complicated um, end game stuff. Printing completed. Not end game stuff, but it's like, you know, progression. Ah, oh, that's so cool. That is cool. Alright, feels good. At first I was like, is did I, you know, like, do I need to reload? Did I do something wrong? It's raining again. Okay that in storage too. Hopefully that's all we need. Nice. So hopefully this is the um, greenhouse, or at least maybe it's the greenhouse on the ground. Hope we're in the right spot. So I must have to find or research or scan something else in order to make a flashlight. That could be new too. I feel like I would have made one of those on our day one exploration. A little bit later, we'll also restart uh, the game and see if the how different the intro is and let everybody see how the start of the story goes, too. There it is. Access terminal requires access module to unlock. Okay, I think we did it. Yep. Well, the computer's online, too. Mission reports. Oh, wow. Heavy lore. Okay, we're going down. You know, it just took us 40 minutes, but whatever. Don't judge. Organic printer. Alright, let's go, baby. Hey, good morning, chat. Welcome aboard to Forever Skies. Oh, new objects? Looks like I've discovered most things. So we're in an area called the Underdust. Looks like they've added new things. Uh, green coliander seed. Oh, the seeds are new because now we can do farming. Repair thrower and foam data card. Hardened creepers. Uh, medical regent. So those are new. Garden variants. Wrecked water tank. Oh, so we might want to go back to some of the places we've already gone. Because uh, we've been to the gardens before, but now there's things like the, the water tank which and the sprinkler. So that's what, what will allow us to do greenhouse um, construction on the inside. Okay. So it might be worth like going all the way back to the beginning. Actually, it looks like the wind farm is complete. Let's check everything. Where was all that stuff? Studies. Okay, so it looks like the wind farm is complete. Oh yeah, radio tower. We're going to want to go back to one of those. Okay, so this is kind of like the end game area now before we get to chapter 2. 
But before we get to chapter two, they want us to like research uh, the greenhouse stuff. Oh, that's interesting. All this stuff's back offline again. Okay. So in this area, we're looking for... Meteor beans, coliander, repair throw, and hardened creepers. So it's just, it's just basically two seeds and then some other stuff. Wait, what was that last thing? Uh, under dust tunnels. Oh, that's like way deep in there. Okay. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back up to the overworld. And we're going to fly around and try to go to some of these other areas to start farming. Even if we find these seeds, I'm still going to have to go to these like little farm plots. So we'll go do that. Wow. Wow, Lord Falcon with the hundo. Glory to Raptoria. May the skies push you to achieve your path to glorious loot. Oh, yes, brother. Look, I outsmarted that door. That door stunlocked me for like a half hour, but it's because they changed how things work. So now if we encounter those again, we're locked in. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get in the whip ship, and I'm going to go find some of these things and start building on the ship. We'll come back for those seeds and things later. That area we were just in has limited oxygen, and we kind of got to be fast. And uh, as you could tell, I'm a little slow this morning. So we're going to go uh, to the first thing, which is the wind farms, and see if we can find that. But I'm not exactly sure where a wind farm is. So I want to go to, no, radio tower. We want to find a radio tower. And I think they're different colored lights on the map. Like as we look around, it'll be a particular blinking light. Engine damage, max speed reduced. How did that happen? <sighs> Thank you very much, dude. Dino Nuggets in the chat. Show him some love. Thank you for the support on the channel. It means so much. Thank you. Maybe it's these engines that are damaged? 90%. 95%. They're not damaged that bad. I'll just repair this one. Okay, cool. Let's get on it then. We'll go explore. I think that's the best part of this game too, is the um, just kind of flying around and looking around. And then when you see something, you're like, ooh, what is that? And then you fly over there and realize it's new. Yeah, we can build uh, two airship balloons next to each other, yeah. I think we might have all the stuff we need to do that. We just gotta like, um, well, here's what we'll do. We'll go find the like farming plots and the gardening equipment, see how big that is, and then we'll start building our ship based on that. Cause that kind of just made my ship like a little, you know, like a, a long little narrow arrow. I see some question marks on the map. Let's go to those. Honestly, rediscovering this and not knowing exactly what to do has been very exciting. Yeah, baby, I'm back. I'm locked in. I'm ready to go. That has something to do with water. Actually, is that... That might be the greenhouses there. Or not. That looks like that's for gathering water. Let's maybe make a stop. But this is cool. Oh, yeah. So when you land, she'll tell you if there's new stuff here. So there definitely is.
Alright, so we got our scanner locked in. A blockade. Oh. There's your reason for a knife. Oh, there you go. That's the new stuff. Erect distiller. Extract liquids from organic resources used in oil and fertili uh, fertilizer production. So that's new. Data card. Lore. So they've changed a little bit on how things work. That might be for getting plant oil and stuff. I think before we just used to make it in, like, the crafter or something, so they've made it a little more complicated, which is good. I know there's something dangerous around here. Are those bees? Thorn beehive. Oh. If I attack that, I'm gonna get stung. I should probably use the crossbow. Oh god, okay, yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. They give you meningitis? The bees sting you with meningitis. Oh my god. I knew I should use a crossbow, but I wanted to see what would happen. Oh boy. Well, now we'll have to figure out how to cure that. Auditory and visual hallucination, energy loss, cure to fill the medicine list. Get infected with the virus to fill the list of potential sources. Well, I guess that probably is something that we should have done, actually, because we needed, um, we need some of these to, like, make boosters for. So sometimes we have to get infected in order to, like, <laughs> vaccinate and cure ourselves to then make weird diseases and stuff. Such a weird combo. Oh, I see something else in there. Emma, welcome aboard. Good to see you. Ah, these must be the water tanks. Small capacity. Alright. Oh. And a big gardening plot. Or pot. Cool. Are these the small ones? Yep. Okay, so now we got the big and the small unlocked. Cool. And water. I think there's a sprinklers here. <laughs> So we are in the garden. Yeah, we need the large sprinkler now. That beehive reminds me of the one from uh, Lethal Company. Whoa, what the? Oh. Cool, you can get hit by... Did I just hurt myself on, like, glass? Virus infection detected. Okay. We better go cure some of this stuff. Wow, this game is more dangerous than ever. HP decreases over time, does not ge uh, regenerate. Wow. <laughs> oh, you can see the colors and stuff changing. We're tripping, man. All right, we gotta get back to the ship. See if we can cure this stuff. Ooh. Now we get to toy around with some of the diseases and stuff.
Elmira sample slot. You've contracted fungal meningitis. Create a medicine to cure it. Research brain... <laughs> brain cleanser. Okay. Alright. Anything I could do here? Now, I've forgotten how to cure diseases, so we gotta figure that out again. Virus sample analyzer, that's what we got here. Did I put anything in the boxes? To save space? I don't see anything big. Virus sample slot. Do I need to draw my own blood? Yeah, something like that. There's something we have to... Some other step that we have to do. Hmm. We might need a... Like a... The building gun? Do we need to do that? Kind of cool, they've added more stuff to uh, cure and whatnot. Distiller, big garden plot. Okay, that's stuff we gotta get researched. Anyway, where'd I put that gun? I need, the, like, the shipbuilder gun. Maybe that'll let us build something. Cockpit room, ladder room, viewing corner. This looks like it's all structural pieces. Expand balloon or balloon core. Okay, so that's not it. Maybe we can put these things on the charger. I'll put that on there. There we go. We'll charge those. Do you need to get a sample of the virus? Yeah, I think so, but I don't remember how to like get it out of us or something. I don't know. Hemoglobin purifier. Oh, cure for the hemorrhage fever disease. Bruise flower and canola mitigat flower. Oh, um, we don't have these yet, so we got we got to go find these flowers. That's the cure right there. So we know what the the cure is, but we need to go find the ingredients for it. Okay. Let me. Uh, damn, I was hoping I could like reload to save before I got into all this trouble. <laughs> I'm a little over in over my head for today. I thought you needed the bees. Well, I wanted the bees. We can go shoot them, though, as punishment for their attack. Uh, our, our stuff is not going to get better, though. This is going to be very... It's going to get very difficult now, this game. All oh, this rotten food. I think I actually saved all the rotten food, hoping it would make fertilizer or something in the future. Get some more water. Oh, no more water there. Well, there's water upstairs we can get. Like an endless amount of it. Uh, meningitis prevents you from sleeping. Great. So we got to find out where these flowers are then. So where are those? Uh, we are at the... Yeah, we're at the garden. We need to find the sprinkler, the colander seed, and the wrecked docking plank. Alright. Well, let's keep looking around then. We'll just be low energy. 
I guess. That's one of the coolest things in this game was that there was like these uh, conditions and diseases like that. That's the thing is that like Earth has just become super toxic with all these different infections and diseases. And so we're here to cure them all. Oh, the virus was neutralized? Thank you, ma'am. I just blacked out on the floor, I guess. So these will eventually cure themselves. You'll just... It takes time. Alright, so to cure meningitis, you just sleep it off. That's all you gotta do. A little meningitis, sleep it off. No biggie. But we can still research a treatment for that. Oh, I want to make crossbows. Let's go back and I want to shoot those bees. Yeah, Huffy, there's a lot of new stuff. And they've changed some things around. So I actually think this... Um, as much as I like continuing where I left off, it almost warrants a whole new playthrough because they've... Um, added stuff to the beginning areas where you have to kind of go back which is fine because you don't really you don't really have to go back there's so many of the same little areas where you can find the stuff that you just Rest is recommended. you just gotta look around so I thought they said there was no cure for this disease the disease stuff is really cool in, in the first version of the game you didn't really get much of a chance to explore it too much like there was um, there was one that gave you like phobia of the sun or something like there were a few that they kind of gave you as a mandatory infection to teach you how to deal with it. But then you didn't encounter it too much since then. Okay. So let's make those crossbows. I think it's just synthetic. Synthetics and metal, yeah. But things stack better now, so that's nice. Yeah, just rub some dirt on it, yeah. Alright, let's make a couple of these. Printing completed. It's been really cool to rediscover all this stuff and then see what's new. Printing completed. All right, 15 should be enough. I hope they don't expect me to shoot every one of the bees. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kick their asses now. <laughs> are they the same bees from Valheim? No, these bees are angry. In Valheim, the bees are happy. Yeah, we got a little pet. I forgot what we named him. Anyway, it's a good idea to look around and try to find everything. Also, it looks like you can get like cut by glass and stuff if you get too close, so that's interesting that they put that in. That there's world hazards like that, that's cool. I hear the bees. Are they above us? Oh, I think I saw them. Yep. Get wrecked. Ah, okay. Alright, not that way. We're fine. Thornby Honey 1. Good. What is this thing? Lock broken. Can I stab it? I didn't bring my knife. What a noob. Wait, let's scan it first. Calories level is decreasing. A locked supply crate. Oh, we can repair it. Ah, so if we repair that, then we can open it. Okay, that's another new thing they put in. A patat. <laughs> We're going to grow potatoes. I don't know if that's new. OK, 
Okay, so we gotta come back up here with patches. That's cool, they put that in. Okay, let's go down. Oof. Uh, nope. Not going that way. Alright, we'll have to come back with repair putty then. been in here before. You want to play this one too? Yeah. Yeah, I would recommend if you uh, if you didn't get all the way to the end of chapter one or build a really, really big ship, I think it's totally fine to uh, to start over. In fact, if you do start over, then it allows you to kind of plan as you're building your ship. Like as you're exploring, you're gathering more materials. And as you gather more materials, you, uh, then you have more things to build. A coffee nut, okay. I think the deadly creature's in here. Oh, there's a bruise flower. Okay, so we need that. Oh, we're getting seeds, too, so we can plant these things. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, we need a knife for these. Okay, so the, the cure for the meningitis is here. Alright. There's got to be something else here. I don't remember, chat. Can you find everything on the list at one pl uh, place, or do you have to go to multiple places of the same type in order to find stuff? I thought you could find them all at one. Yeah, they've added more lore to this now. Um, one of the things we have to do is get to a... It says, find the research reports in the infected greenhouse. So that's one of the end game goals for this chapter, is to get to the greenhouse. Wherever that may be. It may be in the underdust. Which is that area down below on Earth's surface. Now, where did I put that knife? Virus infection detected. Oh, I accidentally right clicked. Uh, nutritious, but can be very harmful. After cooking, it becomes edible. Requires a small garden Calories pot to be. Decreasing. Well, I'm just getting all the diseases today, aren't I? Now I've got. Uh, oh, the gr gastro. Wait, do we have to get these conditions in order to discover their cures? I, I I can't remember how we I can't remember how we discover a disease and then put it in here to like make a cure for it. Well, there's brain cleanser now. Electrolyte pills. Oh, there it is. But that one, I don't think this was here before. I think we have to inf purposely infect ourselves and deal with a disease before we can research how to cure it. I think. I don't remember. I'm kind of just rediscovering it all. <laughs> Previously, not everything was at uh, the platform. Had to revisit several, but surprisingly, you seem to get... Full size tanks in one stop here. Okay. So we got lucky with getting malt. Okay, so we do have to go to multiple. So everything might not be here. Wait, I think we only got the we only got the small sized water tank, but we got the big and small pots. Okay, so where was that? Oh, what are these? Are these those coffee nuts? Lobster peppers. 
We can boil those. Let's see what they do. Okay. I think we want to go in here. Alright. It's, it's all starting to come together the more we play it, how different this is with the diseases and stuff. I hope they continue to add more complexity like that, too. Where it's not just about building a ship, but also, like, you're being more of a research vessel, which is cool. Where are you, buddy? I hear you. There he is. Those things are dangerous. Looks like we're getting seeds from this too, so we'll be able to grow these. Alright, so let's get some more. Wait, can I scan this? Okay, so what else do we get here? So we just need the docking plank, the colander seed, and then the large sprinkler, which might not be here. We might have to go to a different one. Luckily, they made it really easy to see if something's in there, though. They, like, made it basically, like, blood red. Oh, there's that damn glass again. Yeah, okay. How do we get through there? Maybe just with the knife? Oh, what is this? Oh, coffee nut. There we go. Don't forget to go back over time, too. Oh, wait. Can things... Well, well I guess we'll go find another one of these. It, the way it works is that there's many, many platforms like this one. There's, like, maybe, like, five or six variants of platforms in the game. Like, one is for farming. One is for, like, wind power. One is, like... Oh, oh God. Virus infection detected. One is for bees to just attack you and nothing else. Where the hell's their hive? Is that it? I think it's down there in the building. I'm going back to the ship. I'm going to go get a snack. <laughs> yeah, the update adds Chapter 2. And it also adds a lot of stuff that seemed to be there before cha like it adds a lot of stuff to chapter one seems like you can get this stuff while you're doing chapter one because you have to go to these places like the greenhouse like this building um, in chapter one so it adds a lot of stuff to one and the game in, in is a whole and then also uh more chapter two stuff okay so Huh. Oh, right. There's like a mini game for that. I don't, I don't remember how that works, though. Okay, we do need food. We have a little snack. 
Oh, these weren't cooked? Oops. Okay. I'm also kind of like just rediscovering everything in the game, which is really neat. Also, in the right side, you can see that our ship load is at 752 out of 900. So if we add more ship space, and I think if we build those farming plots and stuff, it's going to add more weight. So we're, we're going to need a lot of materials to upgrade the ship and to upgrade the... Uh, well, and to build the stuff inside. So the first thing would probably be... Man, what? This lady's crazy. Anyway, let's keep flying around. Keep heading towards the question mark ones. At two point six six kilometers. That might be the uh, that might be the actual greenhouse research site or something. We'll go check that out. Hey, can we drink water yet? Now we got like thirty seconds. So they've definitely made this game a lot more challenging and dangerous. Like, uh, be before in our first run, I I think other than the mandatory uh, diseases and things. I never got a disease once. Yeah, we'll need to repair one of those chests, yeah. We'll make sure we make some more patches and stuff for the next time. Or we can always come back to that one. That one we can remember. Being that down there at 2.7 something. Can we actually mark those? I don't think so. We'll just remember it's the one next to the 295. Plus, I think the, um, I think the game actually procedurally generates things every time you play them. I can't quite remember, but I, I think the where things are placed is different. Mandatory diseases. Yeah, I think at the beginning of the game, uh, I they may have changed it, but you're supposed to eat like a sun melon or something like that, and it gives you like uh, chronophobia, which is like a fear of light. And then I think they show you a way to cure it. Basically showing you that you can do it. Like a little tutorial. But anyway, this game went from just, like, exploration fun to, like, real danger. Like, when I was on that greenhouse thing, we got, like, cut. We got attacked by bees. Um, I think I only, like, died once in our original playthrough because there was a... In the underdust area, there's something to do with oxygen. And we just... I was almost back to the elevator and we ran out of oxygen. But then, on our second run, I found a medium oxygen tank, which we have now. And it, like, doubles the oxygen that you have, so it made it a lot easier. Okay, we're going to go to one of these uh, hexagons with the question mark and see what this is. This could be another greenhouse. Maybe we'll find more stuff here. You really want to see a supersonic ship? I'm sure they've done something like that. People have done that. Yeah, the breathing hard, yeah. Yeah, some of the diseases just cure themselves by just sleeping or waiting them out. But some of them don't. Ma'am, you're speaking nonsense now. Okay, this looks like an overgrown. Yeah, it's like an overgrown. Oh, this is the lab, the greenhouse lab. We're supposed to find uh, reports here. Analysis completed. 
Detected new objects requiring scanning. Okay, that. That was that. Wait, honey spoiled? Oh, we can plant a coffee plant now. Okay. Okay, we're going to run out of food here. No, damn it. Actually, what, what here spoils? Anything? Oh, yeah, okay. I guess we could put these plants in the refrigerator. Seeds are okay, though. All right, let's try to do some fishing. And then we'll get some more food. Yeah, there might be new upgrades for the ship now. I'm not... Well, I mean, obviously now you got to make your ship bigger because now you can make, like, literally a flying farm. So... Before, I just made the ship small so that way we could go really fast and go explore. But now we can change the ship up. Uh, we can add like a second balloon to it and uh, there's a lot we can do. This is going to take a bit of time. Get some food going. Now I need water to boil. Can't make any food until we uh, boil. Is there radiation in this? Uh, I can't remember. I th maybe there's like toxicity and stuff too. Oh, all right. Damn it. What? I oh, I I click to eat. But it did not eat. Now we're fine. Infection detected. I was going to eat that food so we didn't starve, but they wouldn't let me. Oops. Oh, we still got it, though. Speaking of which, by the way, I think there's different difficulty modes where I think... The higher difficulties make those diseases much more brutal and maybe harder to cure. And also, I think you have to eat and drink way more often. Which to me is kind of annoying. But I don't mind the uh, more aggressive diseases. Okay, let's go see what we got here. Oh, what the hell? What is this? A what now? Strange plant that emits toxic fumes. Recommended to avoid contact. Or even getting close to it. Immunity booster is required to bypass. Oh, that's why we need the immunity booster. So if we go to that plant... If I even get close to that, we're just going to be attacked by, like, toxic gases. So we need an immunity So immunity booster is where? There. So we need a cure for two things. Gastro, whatever, and the fever. So the cures to those are... Actually, I don't necessarily want the... I don't want the cures, I want those parts. And I think we get that from here. 
by doing this, I think. Oh, this is for photophobia. That's a cure for photophobia, okay. So this is the case where we gotta just put a bunch of random stuff in this machine, as far as I know now. Is this game gonna come to consoles? That is a good question. I don't know, but if there's a chance of that, it probably will be after 1.0, like, full release. Um, and the developers have been taking their time to, to craft this one, and have done a pretty good job with making it uh, interesting and adding new stuff to do, so... I think it'll be a while before we know, for sure. Oh, actually, we can boil food here. We got clean water. Let's add some food to that. There we go. Interesting. So we're going to have to, as far as I know, we're just going to have to randomly analyze things to see if it'll let us research it. So it may be some of those new flowers that we saw. Let's just try each one of these and see what happens. Oh, here we go. Oh, I forget how this works. Um... Remove particles by size. Okay, there's the small ones. Remove by charge. I forget how this works. It is coming to PS5. You can wish list it now. Oh, awesome. Very nice. Okay. I forget how this works. Okay, let's do medium. Negative. Oh, a neutral? No. We're supposed to, like, leave one, but I forget how the process of elimination works exactly. You know, in second thought, I think it's really good that we... that I went in uh, to our old save because we get to see all the changes, things that are new and things that are kind of unchanged. Okay, so we can't start with large. I think, I think we want to separate all of these from this. Let's get rid of the uh, small ones. Yeah, we could build like a flying farm, exactly. Let's get rid of on charge. And then alkaline. Now we want to. Those those are mediums, I think. And this lady's so uh, programming is messing up. Okay, let's try medium. Then on charged. No negative. Ah, they're both they're both neutral. That's not it. Try small again. Negative. 
Hey, there we go. Alkaline. There we go. Sweet. Preparing sample item. Hydration booster. So this is how we research those boosters then. So now um, we've got one of the ones needed for the immunity booster, which I think is needed for the... Yeah, for the what we're about to do. So now we need one for the fever. Oh, we need a crystal battery for that. We need to make another battery. Also, has it rained? Oh good, it's raining. Uh, let me take these bottles of water. So, crystal battery. Plastic and crystal. Blah, 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 blah. more food and yeah, I'm starting to really get the hang of this again with being on the ship and then we need that battery in there cool Virus infection detected. oh this is for photophobia needed the one for your magic fever. Uh, I think we might need honey for that. Or no, that was meningitis that they gave us. Okay. Hydration booster. Oh, that's cool. Temporarily satisfies the need for hydration. I think a lot of our problems might be solved by just sleeping. Hmm. Temporarily reduces damage. Interesting. that guy. Yeah, meningitis. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. We had a chronic hemorrhage fever, although I'm not sure how to research that one. Here's the diseases I've researched so far. I like the whole researching part, like gathering samples and do it like we're a scientist basically, so doing a lot of this and like gathering the samples and whatnot whatnot is cool. I'm 
glad we got that refrigerator too. Alright, let's see if we can sleep. Uh, I need to eat first though. Need a little bit of water. Alright, well, we'll just try to sleep it off. Take a salt tablet. That's what this game should have. They should put in a dev cheat that's just salt tablet that just cures all diseases. Coach, I have chronic uh, meningitis hemorrhage fever. Take a salt tablet. No. Coach, I'm hemorrhaging? Literally bleeding? Okay. Oh, I don't think we could do anything here until we get this other cure, and I'm not sure what to do to get this other... I think we need to find more plants and stuff, so let's keep looking for stuff. And then Chad will go repair one of those things you mentioned I should go repair too. So there's something orange over there? What is that? Oh, these orange towers are the ones that are covered in that weird stuff that we need the immunity booster for. But there's something different there. That one's different. Let's go check that one out. Chlorine level is decreased. Oh, calorie level. Oh, we need water. Well. I mean, it's got to rain. This is getting a lot more scary now. Remember any idea what gave you that virus? Uh... The one we're looking for? No, because some of them might be new. It might be a plant that we haven't found yet. There's new plants, new seeds, farming, the ability to water them with sprinklers. We might not be able to build and see that today, but at least we'll be able to see the like the things that are new. But you could imagine what it's like to just basically... What I would do here is I would just make a large, you know, square open area with uh, planters and stuff in it. And we could probably build those now. Like, we do have the materials to make those. I think we're going to die from no water but um yeah so I, I think what we would need to do is just basically make the ship bigger we need to make a bigger balloon then make a bigger frame for the ship then we would have to make uh the components for the ship the uh the farming plots and then i don't know how the sprinkler is going to work because it takes a large water tank so we would have to have a lot of water filled in there at all times so we would have to have some sort of i'm going to need a different way to get water because Right now, our current way of getting water is just hoping that it rains and then it fills up like a couple of water catchers, but we don't really have like, I don't know, we need like a like a condenser or something like that that'll catch the water. I think there is something we could build to do that, but it's a disposable thing. It's called like a, like a water membrane thing, but I don't think it's sustainable. Where are we going to land here? Oh, here's a little spot, maybe. Now, what is this place called? Is this dangerous? That's fine. The gardens have water that... W yeah, the, the, yeah, the unlimited water in the middle of the gardens, yeah. But on our ship, like, I want to find a way to... Uh, area. The preliminary analysis started. Overgrown surface lift. Oh, this is a new way to get to the surface. All right, so this allows us to go down too. What does this look like as a symbol? Oh, it looks like a little like a little donut, okay. Anyway, let's see what we can find here. Also, I want to make a flashlight, but I haven't found the recipe for that yet. It makes it really dangerous. So we could easily slip and fall off of anything. kind of funny how this stream started out like innocent and cute like me trying to remember how to get into an elevator and stuff and now it's just like we've got all these diseases and whatnot so this game ain't messing around with the 
like giving you conditions and wanting you to cure them. There we go. You know, it'd be cool is if we could have spotlights on our ship. I don't think we can actually get lights on our ship. That'd be cool, though. I'd like to be able to fly by and put a spotlight and see where it may be safe to land. What's up, Scott? Welcome aboard, dude. This is another new location. I see places where it seems like we can land, but I don't know if we can actually walk from those places. This one does seem to go down to the earth, though. see a way in on the top either. Okay, well, I want to see if there's a way for us to get more water. Is there anything we could build to get more water? She's going crazy. There's a large bottle here. We m Oh, right, I used the large bottles for the some of these liquids. So that's probably how we get a lot of water, is just go to those wells, like chat mentioned, and then fill up with a bunch of water and then put it through the purifier, and then just save it on the other side. All right, let's go back and pick up a bunch of water. And then if we find another lock box, we'll use a patch kit. There's one about a kilometer away. Do we not go any higher? Max altitude. Uh, we better go around. What's up, Funkhauser? Is this game any better? I played it maybe a year ago. Yeah, this update seems really cool. I, I would say that if I, uh, if I, if I could, well, I should say if I could, but like, now that I know that there's a lot of content added to the first chapter, like from the beginning of the game, it looks like they've added a lot of new stuff to find at places that we've already gone before. So we're like, we're circling back to go to these places again, which is something that you'd do anyway, because anytime you're looking to upgrade your ship or whatever, you could just stop anywhere and start using the extractor in order to, um, you know, gather the materials that you need. But I would say this is almost worth like, um, I'm like 50-50, like you could either continue where you left off based on like upgrading your ship and continuing your playthrough you'll just have to circle back to the initial areas or knowing that there's new stuff that's for farming you can kind of focus on building a larger ship from the beginning and then just kind of tailor your ship as you go along like you can just keep making um you know upgrades to your ship knowing that okay there's a gardening update out that means i'm going to need a lot of floor space i'm going to build a bigger ship so that means you can grab things like the helium and the metal and other stuff like that. Right now I'm having a little trouble because I've got a few diseases that I need to cure and um, it looks like they've turned up the difficulty a little bit in terms of like you know if you touch like a, a piece of glass or like wire or whatnot at the greenhouses you can get a disease you can be attacked by bees there's a lot of things that are working against you now which is kind of cool it's not just like there will be combat in the game in the future and there will be um, you know obviously we have a crossbow and a knife and that's something they're going to work on in the future, is working on the, the combat update. But I like the fact that it's kind of environmental dangers and that there needs to be cures for it. That's, that's different. Like, most games, um, you know, if you get a disease, it's like one or two small things that are relatively easy to cure. 
or like don't really have much of a consequence. Like in Project Zomboid, for example, if you get um, if you get a cold, you just start coughing and sneezing, and so it um, you know like it attracts the zombies. But there's no real consequence for it. Like eventually, it'll just cure itself once you get out of the rain. When did this game come out? I think uh, this game came out into early access last summer, sometime around maybe June of 2023. This game, by the way, for those of you just joining us, uh, welcome to our sponsored stream for uh, Forever Skies. The game is now on sale, too, by the way, for 25% off until April 11th. So use the link in the in the description for this one. And um, it's it's like 22 bucks now, I think. Let me just verify that via Steam. Um, but I've enjoyed it. That's why I'm back for more, and I, I want to see more development on this game. I do feel it's $22.50 right now on Steam. Uh, I do feel like this would be the type of game that when it releases in 1.0, that we would just do a full restart. Not like... I wouldn't want to go to the... You know, like, let's say there were four chapters and we played each update and then we got to the last chapter. I feel like once they finish the game, I would just want to do a complete restart from the very beginning. We should have more bottles. Oh, where'd that other bottle go? But anyway, yeah, this is definitely a, a game that I'd like to uh, play in completion once it's complete. For now, it's kind of cool to take a look at all the different updates and what they've got planned. Uh, I don't know anything about the game studio from before. I haven't looked into their previous games. Whenever I heard, whenever I saw Forever Skies, I was like, well, this looks fun. Oh, damn, the water wasn't filtered. God. This game's trying to kill me. <laughs> Literally. Uh, let's see if we can make a large bottle that requires polymer. Empty bottle and scrap. Tray crown car cricked. Going a large water a bottle for water. And then we can put water, uh, dirty water up there and then store it. <sighs> Happy anniversary, Snookums. 31 months for Funkhauser. Thank you, dude. You're getting close to the, uh, I think it's the 36th month. Uh, five more months for you and you get that silver back blue eye. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Green Hell can... Oh, yeah, that's true. Green Hell does have a lot of diseases, too. That's true. This one's almost getting to the level of Farthest Frontier, though, where it's just like... Uh, you can have, like, 14 diseases that are fighting against each other to kill you. It's like you've got super ultra mega meningitis and athlete's foot at the same time and they're they're battling it out to try to kill you. The only thing keeping you alive is the virus's hatred for each other. <laughs> yeah, let's go fish and we're about to die from food. So I would I would certainly say that this game is a little bit more difficult, um, but not in a unfair way. It's just kind of you have to be prepared for it and Obviously, I couldn't really repair, uh, prepare for uh, diseases and things that didn't really exist at the time that we played it. Okay, so now we're going to get some food. Yeah, super cooties, that's right. How does dying affect things? I think it's based on the difficulty. So right now, I think we're playing on normal difficulty, so the consequences that we get teleported back to our ship I think so for underground it's like bad okay so I'm gonna try to eat one of these bad boys raw Virus infection yeah yeah I know wow look at all of our disease wow I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the uh, steam achievement of getting this entire left side of the screen just red <laughs> red diseases God. I had to do that though, otherwise we would starve, because there's not enough time to filter that water. Actually, I guess there was. 
Whatever, why not? Why not? Let's just, you know, we're here to just check out what's new. Let's check out all the new diseases by lit. Dude, a new disease just dropped. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's get infected. Trace yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Come on. Let's all jump into the pool of hypodermic needles. Come on, guys. Yeah. Lethal at least foot. That's right. Uh, I don't think I've heard of that one, Funkhauser. Okay, let's eat. Okay, we have some water. Hot towers under ribs. Just trying to stay alive in this update is just brutal. Okay, let's go fishing some more. But again, we can always get our... F you know, we can get our food stacked up here. Oh, this gives energy too? I'm trying to gather all the water we can. So yeah, chat was right. These greenhouses have a ton of water. And so now that farming is a focus, stopping at those and storing water is a really important thing. Yeah, going back to what I was saying about dying, I think on the higher difficulties, you, you do either lose stuff or you have to go back and get your stuff if you're in the underdust, I think. I can't quite recall how that works. There, There is a difference in the difficulties, as far as I can recall. This one won't go down. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Is that an explosion? Okay, we need to pop on another lure. Oh, you're saying developers of, from this studio worked on Dying Light? Oh, really? Some of them? That's cool. You know what's really cool, though, is that in uh, with the industry today, people are... So many developers go from one studio to another. Uh... That it's, re it's really impossible to play a game that's not been inspired by other games from developers working on other games. Like, you'll have people who worked on, like, um, Dying Light, Call of Duty, SimCity, and, like, uh, I don't know, FIFA or something work on a brand new game. <laughs> it's amazing. Our ship's being dinged up a little bit by rogue tumbleweeds. I wonder if there's an advanced grow we can build. I can't remember. Hey, get out of here, pal. This guy's getting feisty. Let's make some patches. Uh, metal and plastic. Looks like plastic is still kind of rare. Completed. So now we're doing the one thing that I never really, uh, oh, there's good stuff here in storage. Oh, there was a storage box there? The whole, oh, there's storage here. Oh, there's where the batteries and stuff are. <laughs> oh, there was a crystal battery here. I didn't even know this stuff was here. Good, we got plenty of synthetics, plenty of batteries. Oh, they used to not stack. They used to go one to one. Now they stack. Beautiful. Old canned water. Oh. I did have water in there. Alright, well we got plenty of plenty of patches now. Oh, there was more workstations here. Upgrade station, basic turbine, and the water condenser. It produces dirty water. Wow. Dude, every every second I play this, I'm like discovering something new. Ma'am, what? Uh, 
Okay. Inventory full. I'm gonna put the plants in there too. So I guess the reason that it might be a little harder to eat and drink in this game is of course now they've made it easier to make food and water. So it's not, it's, it's balanced out. Uh, read the patch notes and says the flashlight is on the top of any corpse on a radio tower. Oh, thank you. Okay, so the flashlight is new and it's on the corpse of a radio tower. Thank you very much. Hot tower is under ribs. Maybe we can go find one of those. Can we make health kits? How do, how do we make those? Bruise flour and lobster peppers. That's why we want to grow those blue, uh, bruise flowers then. So we can find those seeds. Printing completed. All right, let's uh, get some patches going. This is fun. I, I think I would have even more fun just st starting over, honestly, for the update. Um, because then building a ship from the start, knowing that I can do farming, is going to change my mind, man. It's going to open my mind. Okay, let's nap, I guess. Okay, well, let's go find a radio tower and the flashlight. That certainly would help us in some of these darker areas. And this was just a uh, tower to get water. And we have more dirty water, so that's good. All right, before we leave, I'm going to get a little bit more water, and then we're out of here. This update's really changed things. Not just adding new, new content, but adding, you know, content to go past where we were, but fleshing out the first chapter. And I, again, really do like what they did with the diseases. However, I wonder, I'm pretty sure... I can't quite remember, actually, what point the game gives you the ability to cure the diseases that you can get. Because I don't remember doing any of the viral stuff until later. But I guess now that they've added more of them, they've made it so that way, uh, that there's a way to cure it. It's the same thing with like food, hunger, and water. Like now, now that it's more of a thing, it's easier to manage. You know, developers creating a, a problem that you have to solve in the game for the player that they give you the tools to solve. More tools to solve, which is good. All right, we're, we're out of here. Let's go. Alright chat, so you're saying the top of any radio tower? Which which Hot symbols Which ta uh, which one's the radio tower? Like that one? Is this a radio tower? This is a communication point. I don't see any bodies. I like how you can see the metal bending in the wind, that's cool. Um, 
Well, there's another new thing over there. 2.92 kilometers. That's not where we were before, was it? It just says that in the patch notes? Okay. Well, this is communication tower, so... I don't see any bodies. That's okay. We'll keep going. We got windmills. We got... Uh Something that looks new there. Oh yeah, there oh there you go. Yeah, it says yeah, you're right. Radio tower variants, flashlight. Good job, chat. I just don't know what the radio tower looks like. It would be nice if it showed me what what these symbols are on this map. I'm not sure which one's which. Is there a way to zoom out? No. Uh, yeah, Mario, we will. What the hell was that? Oh, we better go higher. Wait. Let's check this out. Yeah, there's larger cockpits, yep. Yeah, there's there's uh, quite a few little options in the game for that. Uh, let's just check this real quick. Ah. Maybe the flashlight is here. So when you touch down, they tell you whether or not there's new stuff. Old canned water. Machine parts. Nothing? Oh, good repair. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we will, Alex DC. We might do that. I really want to save that to play with our good friend Jerry. So we'll see if he's around soon. Maybe one day. Okay, well they mentioned new stuff here, but I don't see any new stuff. Also, because we're diseased, we need food and water more often than usual. So let's get back to our ship. Have a little snack. The immune system has dealt with viral infection. Oh, that one wasn't cooked. My bad. Derp. What if we can put a can of old water in the uh, in the boiler? Okay, well, I don't really see a body or a flashlight here. I think there's a possibility it's here, but maybe not. Oh, the scanner may highlight new things? Oh, let's see. Is 
Wow, 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 wow. Alright, there's gotta be a reaction to one of the diseases. What the hell? Alright, we'll go find a different one. Not water. Drinking lowers our health? What the hell? Stress factor 9000 in this game. This is fine. We got hit by lightning. We're fine. I think in a storm it's best not to leave those things. Fuel's depleted. Oh boy. Wow, that lightning messed us up. Uh-oh. I got a disease. Gonna need apple juice to cure it. Hold on, let me run some preliminary tests. Oh, yeah. Ooh, from concentrate. Good. There we go. All right, I'm cured. That's immersion chat. Let's see if there's a body here. Oh, yep, there's one. All right. I see one. Oh. All right, what I think I want to do is, after we get this flashlight, I'm also going to do a fresh start, and I want to see the intro of the game, which apparently is different. Some things have been changed. What the hell was that? Oh, is that new? Hey, buddy. I hate you. What are you? A crust peed. Uh huh. Oh, try this. So that's a new creature. I hate it. Great. So that's another new enemy. Oh, God. Okay. All this just to get a flashlight. Of course. If we were starting a new game, we would have gotten it right from the beginning. Because players will have to do all this. Which is not, not bad. Hey, buddy. Uh. Flashlight. Oh, it's like around his head. Portable light source, illuminate dark areas, compatible mount, makes it hand-free to use. Oh, it's a it's an upgrade for the helmet. Okay. Yeah, must be. Looks like they've added new colors, too, to paint the ship. Maybe. I don't think we had some of these colors before. Or maybe you couldn't paint the ship before. Like, I'm, I'm seeing all these cartridges and stuff now that I don't necessarily recall from before. Wow. All right, this is getting real challenging with all these diseases we've got to cure now. we got to make a priority to cure these, but obviously I also wanted to explore and see what else was new. So keep in mind that, uh, you know, the areas that you go to in the game now have new stuff in them. So, again, if you've... If you built a ship and you've already done all that stuff, you do want to go back to things like the uh, the gardens, for example, to find the new sprinklers, water tanks. There's new seeds to discover. 
And then there's new stuff in the underdust too, which includes uh, two seeds, hardened creepers, and a repair thrower, which I, I guess must be like a maybe a repair gun that you can shoot. Like a, it seems to like sh shoot ceiling uh, foam. All right, we're going to start a new game in Forever Skies now. I did read that the intro was a little different, so I just wanted to see what was uh, different with it. It's quite a challenge, this, this new version. Let's see. Alright. So, uh, yeah. So we played on normal. We were 24 days into the game before. That was our run that ended in June when we got to the end of Chapter 1. Yeah, we're building an airship in the game, exactly. And now that we can do farming, we want to build the airship even bigger. So let's start from uh, the beginning here and see what we got. Um, I think we'll just keep it on normal. Loss of 20% basic resources type upon death. Oh, so there was so there was a punishment for death. We were losing some of our resources every time that we had died. Hard is that, plus even more... Food and drink decreases faster, and you lose a quarter of your stuff, and then permadeath. That's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, let's do normal. Just going to see how the intro may differ. There will be no other end of the world. So I think we were up on a space station for some time, and now we're here to try to find some sort of a cure. After months of silence, uh, Sagittarius 2 sent a distress signal and fell silent again. It's our only chance. No one knows what awaits you there, but there's a chance that they may have found a cure, and then maybe we can survive. Find the cure at all costs. The fate of all of us depends on you, the Ark. Oh yeah, so we came from something in space. And they're looking for cures for diseases on Earth, which is filled with diseases. We arrived at the source of the signal. <laughs> the intro is pretty cool. We're seeing again. Yo, Evan, thanks for the five months, dude. Appreciate you watching. We're already infected, yay! It's all gone to hell. Everything's been screwed up since we went down there. The immunity is decreasing and we're getting sicker and running out of energy. Our equipment is malfunctioning and then there's this Noah situation. We should have never sent the, this expedition. Our place is on the space station. Power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a compatible battery. So we're just here to gather a little bit of lore. Honestly, with all the disease I have from our other playthrough, <laughs> I feel like it's like we should restart. Then again, it's going to happen again, no matter what. Totally not suspicious. Plants that are hissing. Welcome back, Huffy. Good to see you here. Let's go to... Got to follow the cable. Uh, we didn't get the cure, but we found out that 400 years ago, before the Calamity, research was conducted and something was discovered. We came down under the dust and were so close, that's when it started going to hell. No one crazy and started hearing voices. The bastard stole all the data, the airship, and broke our equipment. He left us to die and fled uh, to his hideout in the greenhouse tower. He's dangerous as all hell. Communication parts are not working. They're blacked 
uh, blocked by something from within, but we can't determine what uh, it's as if the world has uh, doesn't want us to doesn't want to let us send messages. Virus is wreaking havoc on our bodies, and we're getting weaker and weaker. Conditions are greatly accelerated its effects. Oh. If anyone reads this, beware. This world is not our home anymore. We are not welcome. Expedition Stat Sagittarius 2. I think they have either a Mac attack or Pac-Man fever. One of the two. Dangerous. Important to grab everything you can. Oh, well, that's fun. Noah's madness. It's all because of the damn dust. Noah heard voices. He was mumbling about nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. He said he knew what to do so he could return to Earth again. So we could return to Earth again. He wanted us to help him to follow the voices in his head. Lunatic. We locked him in a cell for his own good, but the bastard hid the extractor and ran off while everyone else was asleep. I think that means he had an extractor in his room and then, like, somehow extracted a wall and got out. Hey, there's our airship. <laughs> this is all small it starts out, too. That's all you get. Airship to-do list. I've been uh, building a new airship for two months since the bastard Noah got away with our equipment. If only my workshop hadn't collapsed, I would have already had the airship engine research completed. Uh, place the rudder, place the fabricator, deck extractor, extract the wall block in the workshop, get the research station, expand the airship, not yet needs resources from further locations. Well, there's our fabricator. So far, everything seems sa uh, the same, but maybe some of the maybe some of the writing is different. We'll see. Oh, look at all the things we unlocked! Woo! <laughs> Someone stole the rest of our ship. Yeah, we're gonna get towed if we don't get out of here soon. Hello, buddy. Empty bottle. Obtaining food and water. We're running out of food and water and uh, supplies. If only we had at least a few pots of these leafy l locations. Uh, I had to think of another way. I prepared a lure that attracts moss living on the upper layer of the dust. Just use it with the insect catcher on the airship. Lower it and wait for prey. The food eaten raw is harmful. I'll leave a membrane for the water condenser just in case some water will be needed to cook the food with the electric cooker. Just remember to filter it first. Yeah, you, you want to cook with clean water. Remember to do that. Only clean water. Oh, boy. Well, we could have died. Oh. Free stuff. Okay. So I will say it looks like plastic is still just important as always. So going to those little radio towers is very important. The uh, the ones where we found the flashlight. Those ones have like lots of little trash bags, and those are perfect for uh, for that. Okay, we got to filter that water somehow. Man, there's stuff hidden everywhere. Okay, crafted deck extractor. Printing completed. Insert a lure onto the lure slot. Lower the lure. 
the lure. Gonna get some water from that. Let's start extracting. Eventually you get an auto extractor that just shoots everything that comes near your ship and then getting materials like this is really not a problem. Expanding the ship at a certain point, I think the biggest problem will be uh, getting helium for your balloon to expand that, but that's not even really that big of a deal. It's more rare than any materials, but it's not that rare. Like if you know where to look, you got it. A cabbage, oh, a let lettuce. It says to eat what was caught. No, nah, nice try, game. I'm going to make an electric cooker before I do that. They should tell you to eat, not just cook it. I mean, uh, other way around. They should tell you to cook it, not just say eat what's caught. Other way around. So this is the beginning of the game, and so now that you know we know about farming from the beginning, I think the first thing that we would do is like when we expand the ship, this first section back here, we'd probably make it three wide, and uh, do like a um, maybe a farm down the middle, with walkways on either side, or maybe actually, yeah, we'll we'll do a walkway down the middle with farming on each side, or depending on how the sprinklers work, they might go into the ceiling of the of the ship. Uh, actually, um, I don't even know if there's a, a video for the update. Is, is there a video anywhere? Could anyone uh, check real quick? I want to see if the developers made like a little highlight video. Usually that's the, the best thing to see is like a little um, video on what's uh, changed. Okay, I need to be able to cook this in water. Can I put canned water in there? Oh, you can? Oh my god. We can do it! That's awesome. Anyway, I hope the devs put out a little highlight video on all the stuff that's new and how it works. Oh, we picked up the... what is this? Oh, the thing from the beginning, the researcher. You're back. Welcome back, dude. Alright, so now we can research stuff. Let's start with the empty bottle. You're surprised how the airship isn't rusted? Eh, it's made out of, like, you know, synthetics. Pl plastic. Probably smart to just sit here for like five minutes and gather a bunch of materials too. Not a bad idea. Okay, a bed would be good. Yeah, this game is single player. I don't think there are plans for multiplayer, and I don't know how that would work. They're, I, they're trying to go more for a story uh, setting. So it would be like with Subnautica. Where it's like, you know, we all love Subnautica, but it's only single. Just like those Kraft American cheese and me. Just all meant to be single. Okay, let's make some more food. Oh, there's the water in there. Oh, that thing actually stores water like that, too. I might actually install one of those on my other ship because it gives you water when it's not raining. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Playing that uh, the old save on the new update was a little, was a little brutal. Because there's uh, some more later game elements in there. To get to Chapter 1... If you know what you're doing, it doesn't take too long, but the game does introduce a lot of new mechanics, which is cool. 
Like the researching of diseases and all that stuff. What is this? Isotonic drink. Kafala? Is that what we're drinking? Kafala? I hear water. Must be above us. Toxic air below. Yeah, that's called the dust. And um, there's a way to go through that called... Uh, the area below is called the underdust. Basically, Earth's surface. And you can go down there and it's super... Super dangerous. Uh, you'll need to get oxygen and a lot of other stuff. You can survive down there for a little while. There's a lot of cool stuff to find. Rare items and whatnot. But, yeah. Alright, research the scanner. Craft the scanner. We need more synthetics. There we go. Printing completed. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. So I just ate what was caught, satisfy hunger, but it didn't remove that. Get insect lure, lure it. I think they want you to eat without cooking so they can trick you into getting a disease. I think that's what they want you to do. Or it may be bugged because when we played our save it also told us to get an insect lure. And we did, but it was still popped up on screen. So this might need to be patched, the whole satisfy hunger quest. So if you load your save and it's telling you to get the insect lure and you're like, what? I've eaten a hundred of bugs. Or whatever. Um, might just need to be patched. No biggie. You just ignore it. Okay. Uh, check the studies menu. Scan a synthetic cluster floating in the air. Research engine and fuel. We're doing science! Research finalized. How can you do farming? So at a certain point in the game, um, we'll be exploring around and going to different places, and they'll have the people who survived here before were doing farming too in order to um, eat and stuff like that. Oh, there's the person, age 47 biologist. Oh, okay. That's the guy who was writing those notes about Noah. Anyway, as we go to different uh, positions in the map, like those blinking lights, some of these people might have uh, large or small water tanks, large or small farming pots, uh, sprinkler systems, they may have seeds. And when we find all those things, I think we can do it via hydroponics, maybe? But um, basically farming without soil, because I don't, I don't think I saw soil in the list of stuff. Hydration level is decreasing. But anyway, yeah, so we'll, uh, you can do it throughout the game. I just restarted to kind of see uh, what we could do from the very beginning of the game. We need more synthetics for the engine. Apparently the intro of the game was a little different, but it seems mostly the same from what I remember. However, maybe after we leave this area it's a little different because... My, b my bad, sorry. Oh boy. Anyway, maybe it's a little different because um, there is new stuff to find. Let's move this to the front. What's up, Anthony? You hope everybody's having a great day. Me too, man. Welcome to the Big O stream.
All right, uh, craft an engine. There we go. You can also see when we're crafting stuff, there's like a little anvil or whatever in the upper right corner. And weight will be a thing too, so obviously you, you can't make your ship too big without adding engines and uh, more importantly the, um, I don't know, whatever you call it, the balloon, the zeppelin part. Wow. Uh, Revlis, thank you very much for 42 months as a raptor hatchling. Time goes by so fast. I know, dude. Thank you very much for the support. 42 months, wow. Printing completed. Oh, that's good. And Demon King, thank you very much for your 27 months, too. You know, I'm, I'm thinking, chat, like... I'm feeling like this update kind of warrants, like, a, a full playthrough again. Also, um... We need to be able to reach these things to refuel, so let's add one here. Maximum flight speed increased. I'm gonna build another one. We need more synthetics again. Okay, that should be enough. Game's trying to make me eat healthy, yeah. Like boiled lettuce? Oh, doesn't that sound good? Well, at least we have a nice bed. Kind of cozy. craft that. Cozy if you like to sleep in an old rusted balloon. Hey, this balloon's Printing nice. Completed. And it looks like it's made of carbon fiber. It's the fastest balloon, dude. High performance balloon. Does three knots. It's like warp nine for balloons. Maximum flight speed increased. Alright, so now we can put fuel in there. So synthetic fuel just takes synthetics. Imagine that. Okay. Yeah, warp nine balloon. Printing completed. Oh, that was really quick to make fuel. We'll pop fifty in each engine. Printing completed. So another great thing too is that the the devs added a lot more capacity, like stacking capacity for. Um, your boxes and stuff, so at least inventory management's a lot easier. There's more items and more of them stacked, so that's kind of nice. Alright, uh, depart the location. Alright. Now we're going to see if anything's different. Well, let's go. So that's basically what we are. Is a, we're a researcher who's sent here to essentially discover current cures for old diseases based on like what's available left on Earth. So we've got to use like existing plant matter and other things or creatures to 
find out cures for things. Pretty fast flight altitude, so risk of airship damage. Unknown location reached. Plastics are usually found in those trash piles there. Uncharted area. The preliminary analysis started. Well, what the... Wait for analysis results. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. Ah. Uh, wrecked turbine, flashlight, electric elements, plastic scrap. Scanning is fun. I usually forget to do it when I get to a new area. I can't build a handheld extractor, can I? Ah, right, well, there's the turbine. Again, all this stuff is, like, bright red, so it's really easy to see. Yeah, our airship had wooden floors, yeah. Yeah, you can go up and down. Oh, in this current ship, we can't do it without the turbine that we just discovered, but eventually we will uh, be able to do that. Oh, here we go. Not able to see who that was. More solid state batteries. Mm, more uh, trash there. Plastic's important. We need to find electric elements. There they are. Find the location with the double flashing lights. Moth swarm. Take poster, stop pollution. Good, I've, st I've stopped pollution. What happened to the Earth? Well, essentially, like, pollution and toxicity and whatnot have made, like, diseases and, like, stuff just violently rampant. It's in the air everywhere. I think more will be told as we discover the story, but essentially it's like there's a, a toxic layer of... Uh, a toxic cloud on the surface of Earth, and you can only survive for a few minutes. And there's a lot of disease too, so everything is like poisonous, diseased, and scary. Bad and scary, scary and bad. Did we find any water? Well, we got that. I guess we'll drink that. Exactly, Alloy. Calorie level decreasing. I need my calories. I love those. Uh, let's get some more dirty water. Can I boil dirty water to make it clean? No. Okay. Oh, they also want us to research the airship builder. We'll do that in a second. Let's go to the double lights.
I don't see double lights. Oh, there. We'll go over there right away. Range on this thing is pretty good on the main gun. turbine to get up there I think uh, research and build a basic turbine then place it on the outside of the airship so the turbine lets us go up and down without that we got to be like a I don't know like zero if we go any lower than this I think we uh, take damage okay we need more metal place some on the outside It gonna rain. Oh, fuel's depleted now. Printing completed. Printing completed. Now we discovered copper. All right, now we're making a turbine. We'll hide near this. Uh, you, I think you take lightning damage if you're out in the open. Ain't want no lightning. Mm mm. Yeah, this thing takes forever to craft. Lightning strikes the highest targets. The hydration level is decreasing. Oh, <laughs> we'll put the poster on the windshield. There we go. It's like a pop up ad while you're driving. That's the future of cars. That's, that's a pretty smart idea. It's like, well, you can use the windshield for free or you can get the windshield plus program, which will remove ads and allow you to safely drive your family around. This is, this is probably fine. I can I can probably manage this. <laughs> Damn pop-up ads. Okay. Analysis completed. Detected new objects required for scanning. Well, that's not dangerous at all. 
putting my head into the turbine. Being a goober. I'm just being a goober. I ain't going out there until that storm's over. Hell to the nah. To the nah, nah, nah. Hell to the nah. All right, hey. There. Took a little damage. That'll buff out. That'll buff out. Oh, good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. We're fine again. Okay, let's go scan. What are we supposed to do here? Scan radar device on the wind farm location. All right, we're looking for a radar device. Let me know if you guys see anything that looks like a radar device. Oh, God. That's not it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're in my hair. They're in my hair. Their vision's based on movement. Go away, I have a poster. I'll cut you. It's a razor sharp edge. That's right, that's what I thought. Anyway. Oh, look, guys. A location radar. Could you not, please? Jesus Christ. I got it. I think one went in my mouth. <laughs> Get out of here. Alright, that's it. I'm, ba I'm backing out. We don't have the fancy backup camera yet, you know? I'll go down here. Can you fall off? Uh, you can, yes. I would like to test that, but I'd like lose some of my items or something. I forget what happens when you do fall. Or maybe it teleports you back to the ship with just some, like, less health or something. Maybe they're nice to you. Oh, I think that's helium. I think we need that to expand the ship. Yep. Helium! So yeah, already we could start expanding the ship if we want to. finding a ton of stuff ton of stuff so the next thing is to uh, I guess start preparing I, one upgrade the balloon then two, make the ship bigger and prepare while we're making the ship bigger to make a farming area although I don't think we can make a ship that's like multi-level yet I think you can only make like one like one deck you know like only one floor I wish we could do more. Hold on, just just out of curiosity. Yeah, this is fine. Wee. <laughs> okay. I'm five. If you ever run low on helium, you can just make more by fusing two hydrogen together. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, I'll just get like a... What do you need for that? Just like a... Like a vice? Like in the garage? Just... Hopefully some uh, hydrogen gets trapped in there. Hmm. 
All right, let's do the location radar. So then the location radar basically tells us where everything is in the game, like what types of um, things there are. Also, if you're too afraid to make a jump like this to where you could die, if you just look at the edge of the ship, it'll say climb on board. If you hold that, it'll just teleport you back on the ship. It's the same as if if your ship's above you and you're below and you can't get up to it, you can just look at your ship and it'll just like kind of teleport you a little bit, which is fair. Like that, that's kind of a cool feature. Okay, let's do some research. So let's do the location radar. Oh, there's the rainwater collector. Ah, there it is. Expand balloon and balloon core. Each expansion of the balloon increases lifting capacity. Base of the balloon airship has one possible to... Oh, p parallel. Yeah, so you can build a second balloon if you want to. So you can double the effect. But it makes your ship thick. <laughs> But really, I don't think there, there's not much in terms of like aerodynamics in this game for the ship, which is nice. You don't really have to build. It's just kind of more like based on capacity, like uh, ship size equals X weight, and thus X weight requires X. Oh my god, they're back again. Get out of here. And what now? Uh, research and craft the location radar. All right. I think those are just food. I don't know how to catch them though, other than using the um um the the lure. Yeah, that takes a while to make. This essentially is just your um like your GPS. And I like to just put it here above where I'm driving. that. Oh my god, it's not centered. It's not centered. That's better. Okay, so we want to go to one of the exclamation points. Uh, reach the Research the airship builder. That's just a tool, basically. Research builder. Oh, actually, I gotta research it. So that's here. All right. In the spam of like three hours, I've um, and, and by restarting again, now I kind of remember how everything plays out again in this game. Feels good to be back, man. Although I still feel like our uh, level one playthrough, like our first playthrough, and the and the one we were just in, the save we were just in, that's whew, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be like single ply toilet paper crazy. Any bears? No. Chat embarrassing me. That's th that's where the bears come in. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's see if we can get some vittles. We're going to make some uh... Oh. Switch Kova. There we go. Okay, nice. Never mind, we'll just be making some lettuce dumplings. But I need water for that, so we'll figure that out. Oh, there's dirty water. I don't know how to filter the water yet, though. Do we have a water filter? Uh, we'll have to find one. Probably at the next location. You always put your radar on the right? Yeah. I like to put mine on the top, I guess. To each their own. Folks, the update for this game is now out on Steam. Let's take a look at the Steam store page again right now. Okay, so uh, the name of the game, Forever Skies, with their new update that's out now for everybody. Early access game, but the airship gardening update is now live. 
no video on it. I, I wish they would put like a little uh, tutorial video on all the stuff that's new. But combat is coming soon to the game. They've added a few more things to build inside your ship, including the uh, different types of water tanks, sprinklers, and uh, pots in order to, to grow all this stuff. And as you can see, they made quite a large ship. So I think what we'll have to do in the future is we'll go back to our previous save and try to cure our diseases and then uh, try to build these things. Looks like there's... They, it looks like they built some tables and then put the pots on top of that. I don't know if that's all one unit, but I also see water coming down from the sky. It looks like, yeah, sprinklers and stuff are up at the top of the ceiling. So, And uh, ch Story Chapter 2 is out, Hunt for the Cure, which has a lot more to do with the uh, searching for plants and doing a lot more of the, um, like the, like the, the disease research, which is quite cool. So I like it quite a bit. Forever Skies, good game. I think we'll be playing a lot more of this one too. So again, if you want to get it linked down below in the description, uh, $22.49 for the 25% off deal until April 11th. I think if you like Subnautica, if you like uh, Green Hell or any sort of game where you're building and or worrying about getting diseased by plants or the environment, this is a good combo for uh, for you. So anyway, thank you very much, everybody. And thanks to uh, Forever Skies for sponsoring today's stream. If we have some more time, I definitely want to come back and build a large ship that will actually have the farm in it. Uh, obviously, it will take qu quite some time for any players to gather all the materials for that as it's new. You got to go to those locations, um, scan those items, and then get a bunch of uh, materials in order to build them, to which I think we had. We just need to take some time to like park somewhere and actually build the upgrades. So even if you're at the end of Chapter 1, you got to go back around all those places and scan everything, then find a nice place to build your flying base. Cool stuff. All right, guys, we're going to go live to another video on the channel. So thanks again, everyone, for subscribing. Thank you very much for uh, being here. We're going to go live to yet another, um, I guess, post-apocalyptic game right now on the YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe for more, and I'll live redirect everyone here uh, to that one. So again, folks, thank you very much for watching, and we'll be back with more uh, like a survival game right now, a little later today, and uh, many more to come. These games are really unique and uh, very fun, and I can't wait to play more. All right, I'll see you all in the next Big O stream. Thank you, everybody, for watching and enjoy the new video. Link is popped in the chat right now, so make sure you check it out. And uh, it is uh, something different, something new, something you might like. So I'll leave it as a surprise for you to click or tap the link that just popped up in the chat, and I'll live redirect you there right now. Thanks again for watching, folks. Goodbye.